so excited. I'm so happy and I'm very proud that the GEF is a part of this because this partnership represents the GEF's new thinking, new way of doing business, which we have been promoting for the last few years. Agriculture in the 21st century is fundamental, it's foundational to our very existence. And ironically, it has also become, over the last 100, 150 years, one of the greatest threats to the future of a sustainable planet. Every now and then, a consortium of actors becomes a touchstone in a community. Our hope is that this partnership could indeed be that touchstone that so many are looking for in terms of orienting their future corporate strategies, informing public policy, also enlightening the public about their power and capacity through their demand and consumption patterns to change the markets of the future in which the kind of ideas that we are proposing here are not just something that comes from the top down because science tells us it is urgent and imperative, but it actually begins to empower a different model of development of an agricultural economy and therefore also of an existence for a farmer who often is at the front line of very conflicting signals in which they operate. I myself had an opportunity to fly over Sumatra and have seen that 80% of the forests are just gone is one of the national park um, because of palm oil becomes of pulp. But I also had the opportunity to talk to the community, the village in the, um, uh, there, and they themselves are struggling that enough how they can sustain their livelihood. I had an opportunity to talk to the Brazilian farmers that they are also trying to see how they can really make the case of sustainable business but without degrading environment. So it's very clear that we all together to search for the new model. So in our view, in Jeff's view, business as usual conservation doesn't work anymore. We need to depart from that thinking. One of the things that uh, has me so excited about the Good Growth Partnership is the message that you heard this morning, is that we have finally gotten past where we were for far too many years, that it was either about conservation or about sustainable production or sustainable agriculture. And we are now at the place where we know these are the same argument. We have to figure out how do we do these issues together. Pertemuan hari ini sangat bermanfaat sekali untuk saya pribadi sebagai salah satu yang bertanggung jawab untuk pembangunan ekonomi Indonesia dari aspek dari pembangunan pertanian dan khususnya kelapa sawit. Hari ini kita mendiskusikan dan juga melihat bagaimana negara-negara lainnya sesama negara yang berkembang membangun ekonomi dan membangun membentuk sistem-sistem yang baik yang bisa menyatukan dua kepentingan kepentingan lingkungan dan juga kepentingan ekonomi bisa berjalan secara baik ke depan. Latin America is a region that is very much dependent on commodities. In fact, in the last uh, decades, its growth has been based on, on commodities. So it's all the more important that Latin America invests and actually learns on how to manage its resources sustainably. It depends on the economy, but at the same time, it's these resources that have enabled Latin America to, to have a growth that takes care of uh, the people, that it's a growth that has enabled Latin America to reduce poverty. The reduction of poverty is also about including the people that live with and from the, these resources. Well, if you ask me uh, why we are here, we are here because uh, we care about the global environment. We care about the global environment, and if you do care about the global environment, you need to work with these players. There's no room anymore for uh, unsustainable agriculture. Unsustainable agriculture is the biggest uh, cause of biodiversity loss. We are losing species at a rate of 100 to 1,000 times what you observed uh, in the past in the historical record. So the time is now uh, if we want to really make a difference. But I think the biggest thing we're discovering is that we're just not on the same page. So we have 44 definitions of deforestation commitments from companies. That doesn't help us. That actually makes things complicated. We haven't defined what deforestation is. So there are some things that we need to begin to do. And it's not just a market issue. It's also a policy issue. 
At Mondelez, we're focused on a few commodities where we are very big players and can really have an impact at scale, but we absolutely know we cannot do it alone. And so what's important about the Good Growth Partnership to us is that it's a, it's a way for us to work with other critical players to drive change. Governments, suppliers, uh, non-governmental agencies all coming together with solutions, ideas, learning to really share with each other all in a, on a uh, sort of unified mission to make real change happen. Yeah, so I think one of the things I take away from this is that I run a fund, the Partnership for FARS, which is essentially charged with going out and trying to incubate projects and attract investment. Um, it's lonely out there. There are not a whole lot of other organizations in that space. And so the big takeaway I came uh, away with today is that we're not alone. And there's actually a groundswell of other actors coming in. And I think what's really promising is that public uh, finance is beginning to realize that they can use their money more innovatively and more creatively to leverage private finance onto a more sustainable path and make that happen faster. It's actually a unique partnership. Uh, I was amazed by the, the range and diversity of partners that were in the room today. It brings a platform from which we'll draw lessons, we'll tap into best practice on addressing these uh, issues in, in different countries and ensure that Liberia uh, is able to uh, maximize on the, on the comparative experience and lessons learned from other countries as we begin the journey of the supply chain in, in palm oil. And, and I think the, this, this growth uh, uh, platform is, is, is uh, uniquely placed to, for us as a country and for the practitioners and stakeholders in Liberia to continually follow through and benefit as much as possible from the knowledge, the experience, the lessons learned, and uh, how to manage risk in managing and ensuring that maximum benefits accrue from uh, natural resource management, but uh, that's done in a way that is uh, guarantees sustainability. I'd particularly like to thank the countries, our partner countries, uh, Indonesia, Brazil, Paraguay, and Liberia, for joining this partnership. I think it's strong recognition of their interests to become global leaders in this field. They're not hiding from the issue. They want to engage, and they're doing it through this partnership. It was a voluntary uh, <laughs> it was voluntary on their part to join, and I'm delighted that they did, and it's I'd like to give a big thank you to the delegations that have come from so far because I, I really believe that in these types of events that we hold at a global level, they're as powerful as the decision makers that are in the room and the real decision makers are in those countries. It amazes me how much you all know and how much you're doing in this space. And I think every single person here is going to be very vital to the change that we are trying to create and stimulate through this partnership and as you all know the change that we need in this world today.